Hello and welcome to this second video about folding using the Rama map. This time we're looking at Unsolved in Novo Freestyle 104. I'm Tokens. So I have already defined the secondary structures that is determined where the loops go. Uh, I recognize this as a paradoxine design. That is a design where we have a sheet, then a helix, then two sheets, then a helix, and then a sheet. And the two middle sheets, they have odd lengths. This is uh, necessary for a ferret.scene design. So one way for, for this design to determine where the loops go is to count the number of segments for each sheet. And each sheet have nine segments here. And that means that the helices, they should be 18 segments long or 22 segments long, maybe 21 segments long, but they can't, for example, be 20 segments long or they can't, can't be 19 segments long. And that helped me determine where the loops go. So we just start, start by running ideal SS on each secondary structure, like in the previous video, and we shake. And I will start by folding the sheet sheet loop. So we go to the selection interface and open the Rama map. This is an aspartate followed by glycine. That means that this is a green green sheet sheet loop. Like this. And Let's fold this sheet helix loop next. So we have a asparagine followed by a hydrophobic followed by a serine. That is a green blue blue loop. So we make this segment green, the next segment blue. and the last segment blue as well, like this. And then for, let's fold, fold this helix sheet loop. This is a green blue loop. So the first segment should be green and the second segment should be blue. So it has to go down here for the helix to get close to the sheets. And let's, let's fold this. This is also a green blue loop. This is a helix sheet loop. And now we just need one loop. So in this case, we have a threonine. A threonine doesn't have any green area. So this cannot be a green blue blue loop. Instead, it has to be a, a red blue red loop. Uh, no, that's incorrect. It's a blue red blue loop. That's how it is. So this one is blue and this one is red. And this one is blue as well.
like this and yeah let's see if this is good enough now we need to bend the well let's first freeze the secondary structures and unfreeze the segments on the sheets adjacent to the loops and we need to add bands to help wiggle get things into position and like this and if we are lucky then wiggle will fix everything so we again we wiggle at low classing importance so I was sort of afraid that this might happen uh, this sheet is turned with the hydrophobics turning the wrong way so we need to adjust go back and adjust this this loop this looks better so let's try again wiggling And this time around it snaps into position. So we can increase the clashing importance. And now we can remove the bands and wiggle at full CI. And now I unfreeze and I run fast relax once. And we see that we have gotten this right because the hydrophobics are nicely hidden away. If the hydrophobics weren't hidden and the hydrophilics weren't exposed, then there would have been something wrong with our, uh, our fold. And that's it. Thank you for watching the video.